Why sub niches equals money? Stay tuned and I will explain why. But before I do that, if you don't follow me on Instagram at Shopify.now, you can follow me and you can direct message me and I will personally, personally reply to your questions. Now, I hope this episode finds you and your loved ones in good health um, with the situation in the world now. Today I wanted to talk about something that has relationship with the situation that we're in. Every time you have an economic uh, slowdown, then you have to be more creative and you have to kind of be more precise in what you uh, sell. And of course, most people that watching me trying to sell something, I know some of you guys have Shopify store, maybe you have some other platform, Amazon, or maybe you're just thinking about selling. Look, when it comes to economic slowdown, you have to shoot with a sniper rival, rifle, not with a shotgun. You cannot afford going too wide because unless you target exactly the interest that person that you're talking to, imagine it's you and the person that comes to your store wants to buy something from you. Unless you really know what that person is, go after, you're probably not gonna be successful. Let's talk about sub niches. I talk about it a lot. You know, uh, and it's not an accident, right? So, as a rule, I already gave you examples shooting with a sniper rifle versus shotgun. But also, the, another analogy, the, dig, the deeper you dig, the more money you get, right? It's like digging for gold. So, uh, I always like to give this example uh, in a dog niche, you know, I yeah, in my webinar, if you click on the link and buy, I have a webinar there, I take um, you inside of AliExpress and look for dog items. But when you have Facebook, you advertise on Facebook, and that's the reason why I love Facebook. It has very precise interest keywords. If there is a niche, or in our case, sub-niche, chances are Facebook gonna find that buyer and chances are you're gonna uh, make more money. Now, I like to give an example of creating an ad for, uh, for a dog. Any dog product, and when you type in Facebook, I love dogs, the, uh, Facebook gonna give you an audience of 200 million people. So imagine how wide it is. You know, it's okay, I mean, in good times, maybe you can uh, generate some purchases but even in good times, I would prefer to go to sub niche. Let's, instead of I love dogs, type I love English Bulldog. All of a sudden, instead of 200 million, you're gonna have 200,000 people. Much narrower um, niche, much more money, much more passion in that niche, because imagine, you know, if a person Ha, the person owns an English Bulldog. Imagine the level of pride and the person feels special but he, because he has a special, uh, special breed of dog. And obviously these people that end up with specific pe uh, dog breeds or cat, uh, cat breeds, they're already proud owner, right? For you as a Shopify owner, it's much easier to sell to such person much easy and I will tell you even more uh, it applies not only to dog niche virtually every niche has a, a, a different sub niches dogs we're talking about dog breed cats cat breeds uh, fishing we have uh, carp fishing cat fishing bass fishing very popular here is a sport fishing in um, uh, United States that has uh, bass masters and other competition that I, I'm not a bass fisherman, but uh, and then of course there's salt water uh, fishing and things like that. So now, the beautiful thing that Shopify now gives you 90 days free trial and you can click in link in buy open my mobile website, you will find the link to 90 days free trial. So remember, I, I recommend general a store, uh, let's say discount, online discount mart, but then within that store you have collection and in that case you can do, because you can have as many collection and sub collection as you want. So you can go for those 
and you can create a sub a sub collection of, uh, concentrated on those sub niches. So we already talk about uh, English bulldog. When it comes to cats, to have hundreds of breeds, and these people so passionate, so passionate. Once they see your Facebook ad in their feed, the chances are they're gonna click on the ad. Chances are they're gonna purchase. Now. Cats, Norwegian, Norwegian forest cat. Again, cat is a huge niche. You shoot it with a shotgun. Very difficult to convert. Well, I should not say very difficult, but quite difficult to convert. When you start to go into uh, like CMEs of a Norwegian forest cat, you know, that has so much passion, much easier for you to convert. Fishing, we're talking about, I already mentioned. And within that niche, if you sell, let's say, um, fishing equipment you can go into catfish and then catfish you know if, if you don't understand anything about fishing there are some anatomically correct hooks the hooks that fishermen use to catch catfish they look a little different than regular hook you can sell that do you know there is catfish rods there is catfish lures and for any kind of fish there is lures so people make a lot of money because again, that's the area of sub niches. So as a rule, double or triple or even more money when you get to sub niche. And uh, you have a, a very often cult-like following. You have hot conversion as my mentor, um, uh, Adrian Morrison said, it converts like a wildfire. That's his favorite expression. Now, not only you can go to Aliexpress, you can ship, of course, from China now, you can ship from United States, but you, I recommend in the last few posts you talk, uh, you heard me talking about POD, print on demand. You can go to Fiverr, pay an artist $20 to create an image of an English bulldog. You go to my uh, LinkedIn bio, go to my guide, you will see beginner guide for Shopify. You scroll down, you will see Printful and Printify links of this POD company that have print shop in America and Europe. You can put that English bulldog image on a t-shirt like this, on a hoodie, on a coffee mug, beer stein, shower curtain, tote bags, shoes, leggings, the list going on and on and on. I was selling shower curtain for $75 a pop. Think about this. Now, sub niche, remember. So, sub niche items showing higher level of resistance to in in a time of economic slowdown as is is right now right while wide niches are more susceptible to economic slowdown think about it so during the coronavirus even makes bigger sense to go into sub niches but in good times you have to go on that too so uh, we have uh, real items, we have POD. Uh, lately I was talking about um, custom jewelry, Shine On Company out of New Jersey. You can, doesn't matter what country you live, you can do from US to US. And even on the top of AliExpress, you can click ship from, and you ship from United States to United States. Less selection, a little bit more expensive, but five to seven day shipping time versus time i think almost double from china right now even with e package uh, e package you have to talk to each vendor in china to determine uh, how long it takes listen this is just a small part as i always say you know i have my guide in bio you know i have my webinar if you haven't watched please go and watch i give you all training how to set it up correctly most people in shopify fail because they don't know this golden nuggets this golden information it took me four years many sleepless nights listen 53 years old ukrainian immigrant my story generated 277 i know for some people it's very little but for me it was a lot life-changing you can do it direct message me go check out my uh, tutorial blueprint tutorial i will take you straight to success i will fast forward you two years ahead of yourself you have any question ask recommend me to people that may be looking now for ways to make money online people out of business i'll be here answering your question day and night and i talk to you in the next episode